comparing assertions, arguments, and authorities to obtain insights into success in the U.S. court system. Understanding the functionalities of the legal system, particularly the U.S. court system, often seems daunting. The complex terminology and the intricate web of workings may be overwhelming at the onset. However, once we decode the basics, the legal system's underlying checkered structure becomes understandable and fascinating to comprehend. Today, let's unravel three core components of any legal matter. Assertions, arguments, and authorities. First, there are assertions of fact. In the legal setting, assertions are statements made by a party that affirms or denies an alleged fact. These statements do not necessarily need to be supported by evidence. They are theoretically considered factual until proven otherwise. For instance, an assertion could be as simple as, the defendant was present at the crime scene. Assertions serve a foundational role in any legal proceeding. They set the outline subject matter of the dispute, offering a springboard from which further discussion or investigation ensues. However, one should note, standing alone, an assertion has limited impact beyond being initially sufficient to establish an element of a broader prima facie case. Its effectiveness becomes evident when it's followed by substantial arguments and supported by authoritative sources, leading us to the next point of discussion, arguments. Arguments are the pathways that persuade. Arguments represent the heart of any legal dispute. An argument, in essence, is a conclusion drawn from a set of premises. It involves reasoning to establish or ascertain a point. These points can revolve around the validity of an assertion, the reliability of evidence, or the logical consequences of a law-specific interpretation. For instance, you might argue, the defendant could not have possibly committed the crime as he was in another city during the time of the crime. We have credit card transaction details that verify this claim. Legal arguments help gauge the credibility of assertions and set the course for a fair trial's proceeding. Arguments often involve both induction, drawing conclusions from specific observations, and deduction, testing these hypotheses against the broader factual landscape. Nevertheless, relying merely on arguments isn't sufficient for a robust legal case. The weight of an assertion is increased, and the effect of the argument is amplified, when backed up by solid, authorities. Authorities are the rules of the game. Authorities provide a robust legitimacy to the assertions and arguments in any court proceeding. They provide a legal backbone which will be responsible for supporting the route a case takes. But what properly constitutes an authority within the U.S. courts? Authorities typically refer to courts' reliance on precedent, otherwise known as case law, declaring a statute's constitutionality, or lack thereof, or interpreting a statute's meaning. These could be prior decisions from other court cases or statutes passed by the legislature that provide guidance or provide a solution on the matter in dispute. For example, referencing the landmark case of Miranda v. Arizona, lawyers argue for their client's right to remain silent during police interrogations. Here, Miranda v. Arizona is the authority that provides weight and validation to the argument. The power of authority cannot be overstated. It brings conformity and ensures consistency in the way laws are applied and interpreted. Combined with thought-out arguments and well-placed assertions, Authorities cement the case's basis, making it compelling and cogent. Undeniably, assertions, arguments, and authorities vary in their nature and contribution to a court case. Together they provide a three-dimensional perspective, setting the groundwork, assertions, building the infrastructure, arguments, and reinforcing all parts together, authorities. Understanding the distinct yet symbiotic roles of assertions, arguments, and authorities is crucial to mastering the art of legal reasoning. Assertions found to be false after their initial presentment can jeopardize not only the case they were made but also the assertion maker's freedom. Fallacious and non-sequitur arguments that are internally unsound, inconsistent, or irrelevant to the issue will seriously, if not fatally, impair the sustainability of the action. Relying on pseudo-law such as sovereign or patriot lore as authority will not withstand challenge. 
Pseudo-law renders the truest of assertions moot. The law is not interpretive literature. As a result the use of pseudo-law renders the most logical of arguments based upon it toothless. Mastering the art of legal reasoning is mandatory for success before the bench in the courts of the U.S. federal and state systems. So next time, as you think of actually stepping into a court, remember the triple A's, assertions, arguments, and authorities. The more truthful the assertion, the more pure the argument. The purer the argument, the easier it is to research the applicable authority. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos unraveling the mysteries of the legal world. If you have any questions or thoughts about the triple A's, join the conversation in the comment section. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for our latest content.